Hi everybody, I'm just in the process of packing up this print to go to um, its new owner. But before I do that, I did that, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to unbox one and show you what they look like and how to unbox them when you receive your um, art on glass. So number one, the packaging that these come in is really sturdy and I can ship these literally anywhere in the world. Generally they're shipped by courier door to door but they're really sturdy packaging and it makes it really easy. It's a bit counterintuitive, the fact we're working with glass, but it is, it's, it's, it's that definitely the case. So you'll see that as we unpack it. So firstly, we've got a nice solid hardwood, a cardboard box. And if you flip it over so that you can see the line down on the middle, and that's where I'd like you to start. So first thing, I use a sharp, I've just got a little sharp um, box knife, box cutter knife. And you'll find that there's a seam of tape on either end. So you just want to carefully undo that. Okay, so we're just cutting the tape down either end, okay? Now these get unboxed by me when they arrive to me. I, I check them all, do a quality check, and then repackage them. So I've got no problem repackaging this one quickly when we're finished. But I think it's a really good opportunity. When you do this part, you need to lift the box and make sure that you're not cutting into what's underneath, okay? So lift the end and cut gently and carefully all the way. Just keep lifting while you're doing it so that you separate it and you're not cutting under anything underneath. You're not gonna cut the print, I'm pretty sure, but what I, I suggest is just take your time. So when you open up the box, you'll either see this loose inside the box so it'll be on the back of the print. Now in this envelope is the following thing. So first thing is your instructions. So there's instructions for a brick or a um, rendered concrete wall. And then on the back, gyp rock drywall wall, there's the instructions on how to install the print. You also get in the bag three gyp rock um, screws and three of the, um, well, generally three, sometimes with the larger prints it's more, and three of the um, brick wall plugs and then screws. So you'll have three screws, okay? So you've got everything you need to install the print when it arrives to you. So first things first, I need to do this carefully without knocking the tripod. So I'm just gonna flip this bit underneath so it's out of my way, okay? It's just because I've got the tripod sitting really close to me. So the way I do it, put the knife away, we don't need that at the moment, okay? So as I take the two ends off and slip the two ends under the glass part, okay? So then you've got it sitting up off the surface of the box, then you can pull the, the top and the bottom off as well, okay? So that's that. Then we wanna grab our knife again. Now the, the um, bubble wrap, again, is taped up. So lift and cut carefully. Don't cut down because you will cut the print, okay? So be really careful the way you cut it, but it's easy enough to do, so just lift and cut the tape. Use a sharp knife is the best idea, otherwise maybe a pair of scissors, but just take your time and carefully cut the tape off the back of the print. Right, now we're done with the knife so we can put that away, get rid of that completely, and see we open it up. Okay, so on the back it's identified, this is Serene Stones, which you'll see in a moment, it's from Redhead Beach in Newcastle, Australia. Um, you can see here, this is the fixing. So I'm gonna take this off just so you can see the way it works. So this is, taped on so that it doesn't flop around while it's in the box. And when you're ready to install, you have to take this off anyway. But the idea is that there's two parts to this fixing. So this part is permanently fixed onto the print. It's glued down, okay? And that will that's the part that stays and makes it sit on the wall. And then you've got this second part, and you can see it's cut on a 45 degree angle. So when you install, you actually drill your holes into this part and put this level on your wall in the spot you want it and then the literally you drop the print onto that so it's sitting on the wall and then you slip the other one on top i'll do a separate video for installing them but this is just unboxing so next step we want to flip it over and actually have a look at the print okay so you can see again for protection we've got the cardboard box on the outside the high density polystyrene that protects it the bubble wrap, and then we also have protection on the all four corners. That comes as standard, that's how it will come to you. So Serene Stones, this is a shot from Newcastle, um, Lake Macquarie area on the beach at Redhead. 
One of my favorite shots, it looks amazing on glass. But what I want you to do when you install this is keep the corners on and keep it on the bubble wrap until you're literally ready to hang it on the wall. So if you open it up on a big table, a big flat table, I'm using my dining room table here, give yourself plenty of space to work. They're really easy to do, but it just makes life really easy. So this is the final step. We would have installed the bracket on the wall and then the final step is we lift the art up and hang it on the wall. Once we've done that and we're happy, um, take the four corners off and grab a microfiber cloth and just give the glass a wipe. That'll get rid of any fingerprints. And if you need to keep it clean, you get fly droppings or anything, dust or anything else on the print, the best way to clean it is just with a dry microfiber cloth. If you've got any stubborn stains, I would use a wet microfiber cloth first, rub them off and then dry it with a dry microfiber cloth. So that's an unboxing. It's ready to go on the wall. We just install this bracket on the wall and um, we can pop it on really quickly and easily. So thanks guys, you have a great day and I've got to go and pack this up now to deliver it to its new owner later this morning. Thanks a lot, bye bye.